Hello everyone, I'm Karen and welcome back to my channel for the first video of 2021. I'm very happy to be here. I hope you are too. And today we are going to do my January 2021 wrap up. I read a total of three books in January 2021, which, you know, considering I was on such a bad, like, reading slump year last year, I feel like I did pretty good. All three of these were, I think, four stars? Either four or five stars, so I really enjoyed them. So let's get to the books. Now, the first book I finished in January was The Way Past Winter by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. This is the perfect winter read. It's like a, a wintry, snowy, Nordic inspired fairy tale. It's about Mila who finds out in the morning when she wakes up that her brother Oscar has vanished. Um, and so together with the boy mage Rune, she goes on an adventure north to go and find and save him. You know what I'm like, I usually don't tell you too much about the plot because I don't want to spoil things, but this was just the perfect one to read. It was cold and dreary outside and I was inside snuggle on our sofa with a candle and reading this book and it was fantastic. It's just such a great read, there's wolves and mountains and plenty of danger to keep you on the edge of your seat. At the same time I loved the themes of family, of friendship and yeah it was just a very lovely read and I can't believe like I've had this book for at least two years maybe three and I only just got around to reading it but maybe it was just the right time now. So yeah the way past winter highly recommend. And staying with the middle grade category um, the next book I read in January was A Most Improper Magic by Stephanie Burgess. This is a Regency middle grade um, and it is pretty fantastic. This is the first book in a series and the second book, uh, Tangle of Magics, has just been reissued in a 10th anniversary uh, edition as well. So you can read the second one right after this one. And this book is about Kat Stevenson. She is a lady, a proper lady. But her mother was a witch, which is considered very improper. Um, and so she is now being kind of courted by this secretive magical order. And of course shenanigans ensue. If you have been on my channel before, you may know that I've read, I think, all of Stephanie Burgess's dragon books. And they are absolutely fantastic. I think this is more of a magical Regency kind of adventure but it still has all of Stephanie Burgess's charm. Like she has such a charming way of writing and it is like a warm hug. So basically, I think I read this in like an afternoon or like an afternoon and part of the evening. I needed like a comfort read. I literally was like, I'm too tired, I'm exhausted. I just stayed in bed all afternoon and just read this book and it was absolutely fantastic. Would very highly recommend. Also love that the this cover is foil. Look how beautiful it is by the way. It's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, definitely recommend A Most Improper Magic by Stephanie Burgess. And the last book I read in January is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Camera. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I have had this book, again, I've had this book for a while, I just hadn't got around to reading it. I absolutely loved it. I literally read it in one evening. So I started around like five o'clock, I finished at like 11, or was it like midnight? I think it was nearly midnight. This is the first time in quite a few years that I've stayed up this late reading a book because I was like, I just need to finish it. So I will be reading book two and three because the third book recently came out, so the trilogy is complete now which is amazing. It's the Beauty of the Beast retelling. I mean, we kind of know what the story is going to be like, but it was just so vivid and so well done. And it also has great uh, multiple sclerosis rep in this book. And I loved that that was, you know, I loved that it wasn't like an issue book. The main character just happens to have MS. And that was just fantastic. I'm really looking forward to reading the next couple of books. I've heard they're also really good, so yeah. Also, you know, 
We love foil and pretty covers. It's, it's just part of what we do here, isn't it? So there you have it. These were the books that I read in January of 2021. I feel like I had a really decent start to my reading year. Um, I think all three of these actually I finished in the same weekend. It may have been in the same weekend or like two weekends after each other and then I took a break and then I started another book and then I finished that in February. But yeah, three books in a month. Hopefully this is the start of me getting back into my reading groove. Do let me know down below in the comments if you've read any of these books or if you would like to read any of them. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that, you know, when I eventually do make another bookish video, you know exactly when it's there. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye.